Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this awesome Iron Hands showcase which we have for you today. Uh, we've got an incredible Iron Hands force for you to check out. This has all been painted by Dave, one of the artists here at Siege, uh, and wherever better place to start than the characters like we normally do. So let's have a look at these awesome four characters. We've got two Primaris and two Firstborn characters to look at, which is really nice. We've got two prime, two Lieutenants, one Primaris, one Firstborn. We've got the Primaris Captain, and then we've got a Firstborn Librarian, which is really cool. So let's have a look at these uh, the, the first Firstborn to start off with, uh, Dave's done a really lovely job on these uh, Iron Hands, obviously just this obsidian armor with white weaponry cowling, so you can see all the text on the purity seals all fully done. Uh, a really, really nice uh, execution across this force and uh, just a really nice uh, use of colors to sort of add details, like for example, the screens and bits and bobs here, which are really, really cool. So that's just this awesome Firstborn Lieutenant. Um, this has got a magnetized backpack as well as uh, I believe our client also has uh, some jump packs in this uh, commission as well. So we've got some jump packs that can be added to these guys just so that um, there's sort of tactical flexibility on the tabletop. We've then got the uh, Primaris Lieutenant here. Again, you can see all the screens and everything all fully painted. Really nice kind of urban basing with some skulls and tufts and things, which is great. Uh, I love the wear on this leather strap here as well. You'll see that across a lot of those sort of areas of the uh, miniatures in this video uh, and showcase. Uh, so yeah, you've got the awesome white weapon cowlings, as you can see here, just shaded with a nice cool blue as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just this awesome Primaris Lieutenant to start off with. Uh, then we'll jump across and have a look at the Firstborn Librarian in that sort of blue armor that you'd expect. Again, a really, really awesome miniature. I love the use of green on the grenade and like pipes and cables and things, which is really cool. Uh, he also has a magnetized backpack for a jump pack as well, as per our client request. Uh, again, really, really nice model. I uh, love the uh, sort of black and blue combo with the arms and then the silver hands and everything. It just works extremely well. And then we have this Primaris Captain with this really cool blended red blade, which I do really, really like. You've got iron written there on the bolter. All the text on the purity seals and things you'd expect. A nice subtle amount of texture there on the cloth and the inner lining of the cloth. And also on the back here, you've got a lot of uh, texture just painted onto that cloth as well, which is really, really nice. So that's this awesome, awesome Iron Hands Captain uh, to finish off the four characters from this force. So after the characters, let's have a look at the infantry from this force. And we've got 30 Primaris intercessors uh, arrayed into three squads, which is really, really nice. A great chunk of infantry for this force. Let's jump in and have a look at them in all their dark glory. Uh, a really, really cool black obsidian scheme here, as you can see. Uh, and they've all got transfers applied to them, as you can see, plus also the sculpted um, iron hands pads. This chap has obviously got the half bionic, half uh, sort of fleshed head, which is really cool. The eyes and everything painted and the lenses and things all done. Uh, all the script and text on these of purity seals as well as all painted uh, which is really really cool we'll just pull forward a few from each of the squads so you can have a look obviously they've all got red lenses and these really cool white weapon casings um, this whole project is to match a previous phase which we've done many many years ago uh, so this is just a secondary project to match uh, an earlier army which we completed and again you can see it's a really really nice primaris intercessors here all fully edged uh, with nice attention to detail on the armor uh, plus also obviously you've got this tonal variation on these transfers so they've all got the Iron Hands transfers and they've also all got the Iron Hands sculpted details and extra little bits and bobs across the models as you'll probably see through the force, which is really cool. Obviously they've all got silver hands, uh, obviously there's their Iron Hands. Again, you've got this guy here just advancing, which is really cool. So that's just him, all the leather work fully painted and with a nice amount of sort of little scratches and wear on them as well, which is great. Uh, so that's just these. Now, all the sergeants do have SGT just written on their base uh, as per our client request, just so that they can be uh, denoted as a sergeant. Plus, they've also got the white stripe on the head uh, as well. This guy's just pointing away, uh, kill that or something. And uh, you've got the uh, Iron Hands uh, upgrade head on him as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him. And then we'll have a look at the uh, auxiliary grenade launcher from the unit as well so again you've got the white weapon casings just on these guys all fully edge highlighted and fully painted to a really really nice standard so that's just uh, the front squad we'll pull forward a few from the rear squads just so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature which is really really great again so you've got these awesome awesome iron hands uh, again so that's just one of those chaps pull forward another one from this squad here so you can see him again really really nice miniatures red lenses point of light, light source and, and the, the back and catch like the back of the lens plus also the blend on the lens see these 
these extra little iron hands details that have been taken from the upgrade packs and put onto the miniatures also uh pull forward a few here you've got another one of the uh, iron hands upgrade heads on this chap here just advancing checking his uh, readout there you can see the screen all painted as well which is really cool so that's just him uh and then we'll pull forward another one that's just shooting from this unit here just firing away uh, again really really cool model uh, and again all the little extra details just added to him uh, and then we'll pull for the sergeant because I like showing sergeants off uh, just from each squad. Obviously, you've got SGT there on the pad. He's got the Iron Hands upgrade uh, arm with a gun with a drum mag, which I really like. And then the knife. I love the knife attached to the leg as well. It's quite cool. Plus also the Iron Hands upgrade head on him. Uh, and then we'll jump across to the final squad over here. Uh, again, grab the sergeant first. SGT just written on the uh, on the pad room there, as you can see. Again, little upgrades from the Iron Hands upgrade pack just added to the models to add that Iron Hands narrative to these models. Um, and again, you've got this guy just shooting here with another one of those cool pads. A little few Iron Hands upgrade parts just scattered onto these guys also. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, another chap here with a grenade launcher. As you can see, just advancing, firing away. Again, all the sort of purity seals and text and everything all fully done on those. Leather with a nice amount of scuffing just to show age. Plus also you've got these sculpted iron hands pads that are on these guys. Uh, and that's this awesome set of intercessors for this iron hands force. There's loads of models coming up guys, so get ready for them. So after that absolute swathe of infantry from this Iron Hands force, we've now got all of the infiltration and uh, heavy hitting infantry that's kind of dropping from nowhere. So you've got nine suppressors and then you've got six uh, eliminators. A great selection of models to add that stealthy kind of uh, insurgent kind of uh, sort of feel to the army, if that makes sense. So let's uh, let's have a look at these awesome models in more detail. You've got the eliminators here uh, with their sort of urban camo cloaks, which I absolutely love. And Dave's done a great job on these. Again, really do you like the white casings on all the rifles i think they're brilliant you've got all the lenses done in that complementary green just to really make them stand out little buttons and dials and things all done in a green as well uh, just to show that sort of use and energy in the weapon which is quite cool um pull forward one of the sergeants so you can have a look at one of the sergeants again really really nice pose you've got all the lenses on the binoculars all done with green as well which just really really works again just really really nicely cleanly executing these great urban sort of uh, camo sort of cloaks that they've got uh, pull forward the next one from that squad of three again here you can see just really really cleanly executed all fully edged fully highlighted with nice application of details like for example the text on the purity seals and some transfers and things which is great we'll jump across the other squad here you've got a guy just with his sidearm which is really cool uh, just uh, eliminating someone really really silently close at hand which is great so that's him uh, and then we'll just jump across and have a look at another, the other shooting chap here again really really nicely done uh, with all the sort of camo cloaks and everything that they've got uh, just lovely and cleanly painted and then the other sergeant so pull him forward so you can have a look he's obviously just checking a location out or a victim or making sure that one of his brothers has done what he should be doing and just eliminated the enemy target uh, and then we're going to have a look at the uh, the suppressors and obviously there's nine of them uh, lots and lots of firepower in this force again really really awesome models all done super cleanly all fully edge highlighted on all the various areas of armor paneling little cables and things done in the green just to really add some extra color to the miniature and again these massive uh, auto can accelerator auto cannons that they've got uh, just really really well done all the transfers obviously as you can see here and again you've got a lovely transition of just subtle blue towards the bottom of the transfer as well which i really like uh, pull forward one of the sergeants so you can have a look at him Again, all these sort of uh, uh, bionic parts painted in that really sort of worn silver. Uh, really, really nice sort of palette when it comes to iron hands. You don't want to put too many vibrant colours on them. Obviously, I know that white gun cases, but um, but just a really, really nice sort of uh, dark obsidian sort of black on them. Uh, and you may notice, obviously, they've not got the flight stands. Uh, we wanted to put them on something a little bit uh, more stable, uh, just so that obviously for transport and for gaming and things. And then Dave's done a great job of adding these really sort of uh, damaged and weathered sort of uh, uh, bits of uh, masonry or sort of steel or things like that just to show that they're sort of got a bit of integration with the bases which is cool uh, so this is another one of the eliminators here you can see all the transfers all fully applied uh, all the iron hand ones as well and again they've all got that subtle tonal variation just onto the bottom of the of the transfers one of the other sergeants here just looking in the opposite direction landed on this rather large kind of uh, i don't know what it is just some kind of stack of metal or something just like a Know, like a drum of some sort i don't know but yeah just really cool um and then we'll have a look at this other chap here from the uh second squad just firing away again landing on some uh some sort of tile of uh, of, of metal or something which is quite cool uh, so that's just him 
and then we've got the final squad and I want to go through all of them just so you can see for consistency purposes obviously across the, the miniatures again all fully edge highlighted the red lenses on this guy as well just really makes those lenses stand out quite nicely on the miniature which is great uh, so that's just this uh, this suppressor and then we'll have a look at the sergeant from this squad Again, landing on another piece of large gantry or something, which is quite cool. Uh, I do love the cool blue that's been used on the white uh, casings of the guns and the white areas on the miniatures, just to add that sort of uh, shading and tonal variation to the white. Again, just really, really cleanly executed uh, and uh, a very nice set of uh, suppressors to uh, add some firepower to this force from infantry. Do hope you like it. We've got some awesome miniatures coming up. So we've got some awesome flyers as part of this force. Also, uh, two Storm Talon gunships and then also a Stormhawk interceptor. Again, some great air support models for this army. Uh, all, obviously, Dave's had a great time working on them and uh, just a really, really nice sort of uh, scheme, obviously, on these, this obsidian black kind of scheme that they've got, which is just really, really cool. Um, as I mentioned, this is a, a, an additional phase to an army which we completed many, many years ago uh, and obviously just painted to the exact same consistency across all the models, uh, little uh, details and things like a bit of OSL and things in places obviously to match the previous phase that we've done years and years ago uh, again you can see all the weapon cowlings done in that lovely white there as you can see these are all interchangeable our clients got loads of options to change these weapons up which is great I love the weathering just on this section here as well at the front uh, that pitted metal which is really cool and the same on the other areas of the miniatures also uh, again you've got this really cool sort of urban-esque basing scheme that's just on these miniatures which I do really like um, I do love the subtle bluish tinge on the afterburners as well and the thrusters on this guy as well which is really cool we've got the, the green OSL sell on these sort of lenses and things and a couple of red lenses as well just to throw that in as well which is really cool so that's just one of the Stormhawks and just to show you uh, sorry the Storm Tannins and just to show you the uh, the other one just in the exact same consistency of these miniatures again you've got some really nice use of greens and reds which complement each other um, on the sort of uh, more sort of monocolor sort of palette with the black and white um, which is really cool but obviously all got transfers as well you can see all the pilots are all fully painted all the screens and everything inside every single button and dial and, and detail all painted on the inside of the cockpit as well uh, so that's just the secondary storm talent from the force. And then we've got the awesome Stormhawk Interceptor. I love the OSL just glow just from the lights and things on some of the areas of the canopy and the lights and things. Obviously, this has got the heavy bolter options with the lenses all painted there, as you can see. But then again, these are all interchangeable for our client. They're all literally magnetized so you can, the client can change them out, which is great. All the barrels and everything drilled as you expect on the models for us here at Siege. Again, love the little red lenses just scattered around on this miniature. And again, you've got that blue tinge just on those afterburners as well, just to show a bit of heat damage on them, which is really cool. Again, all with transfers, nice amount of subtle tonal variation on the transfer as well which is so it's got a bit of a bluish tinge towards the bottom which is quite nice all fully edged through multiple stages as well which is just great uh, and that's just the uh, the flyers from the force guys i do hope that you like them ever so much uh, we've got some heavy hitting units coming up So to finish off this incredible Iron Hands force, which we've absolutely loved working on for our client, we've got two really cool models. We have obviously a, a Repulsor Executioner, and then we have a Mark V Box Dreadnought, which is a really cool model. Nice to see a scattering of uh, first ball models and also Primaris in this force. Uh, so we'll start by having a look at this incredible uh, sort of uh, old school sort of Mortis Dreadnought with the quad blast cannons. Uh, you do not want to get in this chap's way. He will absolutely annihilate you. Um, again, Dave's had a great time working on this old Dreadnought which is really, really cool. We've got Manus written on that scroll there just on the sarcophagus. Uh, all the little lenses all done green and red just to complement each other, which works quite nice on that very black and white palette. Uh, got a subtle sort of bl uh, bluish glow on some of the coils on the LAS cannons as well, which is really cool. That's just to match uh, the previous phase we've done many, many years ago for our client, um, which is really nice. You've got subtle glazing colour on the bottom of these transfers as well, just to obviously add a bit of tonal variation to them, which is really cool. Uh, again, you've got all the mechanic symbols and everything all fully painted on this chap also. And a little blue tinge just on that exit vent there on the back of the engine block, which is uh, really cool. And again, you've got this awesome sort of urban basing scheme just on there as well. Uh, so that's this awesome Mark V Dreadnought. Um, and then we've got this really cool Primaris uh, Repulsor Executioner. Uh, again, really, really mental, mental OSL on this guy. Just absolutely love it. Uh, just to match the uh, previous phase and what we've done on the, on the client's first phase many years ago. Uh, some really nice OSL effects that our client requested just to really show off what we can do with them. Um, and uh, again, you've got uh, all the lights and screens and dials all fully painted in a red uh, with point of light source and catch lights and blends on them as well, which is just really, really nice. All fully transferred up here, as you can see. And this is also 
also fully magnetized so uh, you can change all the weapon loadouts obviously it's got the plasma on there currently which is really cool so just get this to focus so you can have a look at this plasma weaponry uh, again Dave's done a great job of highlighting that and doing the OSL as per our client request which is really really nice um, and then you can just switch that out and all the other weapons are magged as well but I'm not going to take them all off for the main sort of battle cannon uh, as well and you can see that's obviously got the huge screen and lens and everything all on there all with point of light source catch lights and everything as well which is really really good uh, so that's just this awesome Primaris Repulse Executioner and this really cool um, Firstborn Dreadnought which I do absolutely love uh, and yeah I do hope you've liked this uh, this awesome awesome Iron Hands army which we've had the pleasure of working on I know Dave thoroughly enjoyed it um, never forget the flesh is weak and I will see you on the next one take care So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.